Um, nice. So we're talking about Frank Zappa. And why are we talking about Frank Zappa? Well, Pauline, you were Frank Zappa's personal assistant, among other things along the way. But can you tell us briefly how you met Zappa, became his assistant, and ended up living with him at the log cabin? Uh, well, um, I met him in 1967 in London. He was over there to promote the first tour of the Mothers of Invention in Europe. So he came over with his manager uh, because no one knew who he was or what, anything at all. And he did a set of outrageous interviews. He dressed up as a woman. He had his hair in pigtails. He got himself on the front of all the newspapers. I mean, this is what is interesting about Frank Zappa is that he was very, very canny businessman. Right. And I don't think there are many rock stars who are trying to get on the on the thing, realize or would even dream of doing such things to get themselves publicity. Now, he didn't care. He, he dressed up in all these terrible outfits. He had boobs sticking out and he had hairy legs showing on his stockings with, you know, Lyle stock. I mean, it just was awful. And I showed them after I did some work with my friend, my colleagues at work, and they all said, oh, he's so ugly, you know. <sighs> um, and uh, so he was very clever. He wore a bowler hat walking around London on his long hair. Um, and he got lots and lots of publicity. And right. while he was there, he had to, he wanted the lyrics of Absolutely Free to be taken down. And I was employed to do that. And I couldn't understand a lot of them words because I was used to love me do and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when I got Duke of Prunes and Corn Any Vegetable, uh, I, I didn't make sense. And so I made some of them up and he laughed and laughed and said, oh, well, you should be making your own lyrics if you can write like this. And I said, well, I, if I did, I'd make them less rude. And he said, rude. And I said, yes, uh, you know, Brown Shoes is an incredibly rude song. Um, it's about a young 13-year-old girl who's uh, making love to a middle-aged man on the White House lawn. And he says, cover her, cover her all over in chocolate syrup and strap her on again. Of course, it doesn't sound right in my accent, but anyway... Um, <laughs> You know, uh, even worse, I suppose, when it's proper accent. And uh, I said, that's so wrong. It's immoral. And we had a an half an hour discussion on uh, the mor morality of his lyrics and whether 13 year olds should hear those songs because he said his fans age from 13 to 50. He said, they, our fans don't worry about what their parents think. So he right. was okay, you know. Um, anyway, that's how we met, and I broke through on that basis. I, I broke through. We made a connection. I do I wanted to show everybody because you were saying that the times were so different, and when you met Frank Zappa, you sent me this picture, and you said, "This is who answered the door." Mm. Yes, and in in that time, that mm. would be something that would turn a lot of heads. Absolutely. And it is interesting. When, when he opened the door, I was used to working for business people. I did work for celebrities as well. I'd worked for Gregory Peck and Terence Donovan and Douglas Fairbanks Jr. So I'd worked for celebrities. So I wasn't phased by celebrity, but I was phased when Frank Zappa opened the door. And right. I said, Oh my God, I'm sorry, I've come to the wrong room. And he said, Pauline Butcher, come on in. It was fortuitous for me that it turned out the way it did, because as I say, uh, it ended up with me after several more meetings um, going out to Hollywood. Well, and... he, 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 I was employed actually to, to help him write a book. He'd been... Right. commissioned by Stein and Day, the publishers in New York, to write a book about politics of young people in America. 
and uh, I was thrilled with this because I always wanted to be a writer. So I, I thought, wow, this is the way in. So I was thrilled. So I went willingly all the way over. Well, I had three sisters lived in 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 Washington. So America was not a foreign place to me. And I was already in New York when he offered me the job. So it was just a flip over to California to go there. So it wasn't quite such an extraordinary thing for a young girl to to end up over there. But it, I suppose it was for me, really. Right. Being as as I was. <laughs> <laughs> right.